for joining me on my nature diaries and as you saw in the footage earlier I saw fields of these beautiful black-eyed Susan flowers and we also got to visit um, a place in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park and there's this really cute little uh, train depot and I wanted to capture it on this left hand side that scene and it just is such a fun place to visit and of course it's busy and then on the right hand side you can see I am going to be actually painting the black eyed Susan flowers. I'm going to be starting off using a Princeton snap brush size 12 and we're going to be using sap green and ultramarine blue to just hit the tree line in the back at least this bottom part and then I'll just be adding cad yellow or lemon yellow um, as we add layers to the tree line and I'm just kind of letting them form themselves a little bit I have a rough sketch in the background but I just wanted to hint at that tree line but I don't want it to be the main focus now I'll be taking a mix of lemon yellow and cad yellow and just going to do a wash over the front and this will be my field of black eyed Susans Moving on now to a Princeton snap number six and I'm going to start on the train depot and I'm going to just basically take a real watery yellow same kind of yellows that I used before and I'm just going to do a wash over the actual depot and I'm just adding some shadows in there and then just some Payne's Gray for the glass. And I'm moving on now to adding some greens. And you can see I added some more yellows down front to represent the flowers. But we're just coloring in. I'm just doing it a really rough job of just kind of filling in a little bit the trees and the branches. And I'm not worrying about being in the lines or staying in the lines because this isn't like a finished, finished piece of artwork. Um, it's just again an art journal and yeah, I'm not too worried about being fussy with this So to finish up, I'm going to be just adding some final details grass here and Then I'm going to just go ahead and finish inking um, the rest of it some more details with that and it just gives you an idea of how to color in a basic sketch all right, we have finished with the left hand side and now I'm going to move on to this right hand side with the black eyed Susans. Okay, we're going back to the number six Princeton snap brush and I'm going to be making this time yellows with a little bit of yellow ochre in it. I feel like black eyed Susans have a gold tone to them. They're really rich. It's like the sunshine. And so I'm just going to give it a light wash to begin with. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm going to do and I like to just kind of experiment and you know see how it turns out. So I may start lighter, I may start darker, um, but I'm just adding in some you know darker values here. And again it's just experimenting until you find a look that you like. And I do sometimes like to start with layers because I can change them if I have to. So now I'm just using a sap green and ultramarine blue again for the leaves. And you know, just a note about the black eyed Susans. Uh, I have them growing in my garden and technically they're a wildflower. They are native at least to this area. And it's just um, amazing to see them in their wildflower habitat, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use some brown. I believe that's um, burnt umber and I'm going to just put in those centers really very quickly. 
I decided after looking at this that I would like to have a toned background or a colorful background. So I added just a watery mix of those yellows that you saw me use earlier. And of course you could do this earlier, but I just didn't really decide it until after I had finished the flowers. And I was kind of careful to leave the center, very center um, white, because I kind of like this uh, vignette feel or look to it on the corners. All right, so to finish this off, I'm going to just go ahead and um, do some splatters on here. And I don't know about you, but this is always a fun way to just kind of bring movement and energy into a little composition. And I felt like it just really was the one thing that this little painting needed was these few little splatters. I'm going to ink in a few additional details, but I wanted to show you this antique um, ashtray holder actually, and it um, was made in occupied Japan. So I'm using it though as my pen holder. So I'm on the lookout for that. And there's my trusty ink that I use, Kiritake, and I'm just gonna show you a few little details because I did most of my inking earlier uh, just to save time for the video. So when I ink the final details, I'm just adding in some shadow lines and just additional veining on the flowers or the leaves, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick idea of how you can add to your illustration if you would like. And again, this is always one of my favorite parts. I just love to ink an illustration. Now we're just going to add the lines for the entry and I'm using a mechanical pencil and it does help making these, putting these in with a ruler. It, it just helps with consistency and especially when you're using a dip pen, it just takes away some of that fear of making a mistake. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish writing in this entry in my diary. And while I'm doing that, again, I just want to remind you if you haven't subscribed and you are enjoying this journey that I'm taking through this watercolor journal of recording my nature discoveries and times out, that I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you like, that super helps the videos. I appreciate that. And of course, I love your comments. I really, they mean so much to me. So thank you for all your encouraging words so far. I'm just so excited to really be making these videos and of course making this nature diary. Let me know if this is something that you would even consider making yourself a nature diary or journal or I like to think of this as a hybrid nature art journal because it's not exactly very scientific but I do put facts in and that's okay on the left hand side I just kind of put my feelings um, as I was recording them from the day that we were visiting and then I started writing about the flowers on the right hand side so this literally could be a diary um, with just the pictures and it's kind of like a photo album, scrap album. I'm not sure, but it just combines the best of two worlds for me, having a nature journal and an art journal. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're able to enjoy um, the beauty of nature around you, whether it's being able to go outside or from a window. Um, I just know how much it's inspiring for me to just enjoy um, nature in itself. So here's a quick scan of the completed pictures and I added some more detail on the left and of course the Black Eyed Susans on the right. Well, let me know if you grow Black Eyed Susans in your garden or maybe a different kind of wildflower that you enjoy. Um, I'd love to be able to hear from you. So again, I appreciate your comments and all your encouraging words. And I just want you to remind you that you are amazing and creative and to, yeah, just to remember to capture something beautiful around you in a journal or a sketch because it's so important and to make art and to not be hard on ourselves as we make it. Okay. Well, again, thank you so much. And we will see you next time for my nature diaries until then. Bye.